Hi, I'm Douglas Horn from GoodBlock, and I want to show you how front running ruins DeFi and how Telos ends front running. You might have heard of something called front running in DeFi. In the next few minutes, I'll tell you what front running, also called MEV, what it is, why it can rob you anytime you make DeFi trades or try to buy NFTs, and why Telos is the only blockchain that can eliminate all front running. Imagine you called up a stockbroker and told him you wanted to buy $100 million of Tesla stock on your account. The broker would know that a $100 million order would make the stock rise in value a lot for a while. If he wanted to make some quick money, he could put his own order for $100,000 worth of Tesla in front of your order. That way, he would get the stock at the price right before your big order makes the stock rise. That's front running. If your broker also sold his Tesla stock immediately after your big purchase, he could walk away with an instant no risk profit by sandwiching his buy and sell before and after your big buy. That kind of front running is called sandwich trading. In traditional financial markets, front running is illegal. It still happens, of course, but there are harsh penalties, so it's harder to get away with. But in DeFi markets, it's easy for someone to jump ahead of your order, and there's almost nothing anyone can do about it. This front running has a lot of problems. It contributes to the high cost of transactions on DeFi platforms because paying higher gas fee has been one way of trying to front run others or avoid it happening to you. It means that people bidding on things like NFTs often lose out to others who bid later, but offer more gas or even direct bribes to miners. And it costs users a lot of money. Since January 2020, money stolen by front runners has totaled over $720 million, according to the MEV monitoring site, explorer.flashbots.net. That's far more value than most DeFi hacks or rug pulls ever steal. On Ethereum and most DeFi platforms, users submit transactions along with the gas price that they want to pay to miners to get them to process their transactions. These proposed transactions go into a publicly viewable pool called the mempool. Miners select which transactions they will include in the blocks that they build. There's no first in, first out policy. A miner or a mining pool can pick any way they choose, but generally they pick the transactions offering the highest gas prices first so that they get paid more in fees. Because of this process, some people set up bots to scan through the transactions waiting in the mempool, looking for big trades that would be profitable to front run. With about 15 seconds per block in Ethereum, there's plenty of time for bots to do this. The bots can then propose their own transactions with much higher gas fees to try to get the miners to select them before the existing trades transaction. The money they will get for their transaction is more than enough to make up for the high gas fee. You can easily see front-running transactions using Dextools.io, where these show up as little red burglar icons that show you how much money was stolen on each transaction. This is the classic way that front-running has been done in DeFi until recently, but new developments make it much worse. Today, the chain's miners themselves are performing the front-running instead of the independent bots. This is called MEV for Minor Extracted Value or Maximum Extractable Value. It relies on the fact that miners choose how each block is constructed and can pick any transactions they like in any order. The miners can even create their own transactions that never have to sit in the mempool and include them in the blocks that they create. So instead of bots scanning for these opportunities, the miners themselves do it and they put their own transactions first for profit. This is generally done by mining pool operators. Most even advertise the amount of MEV revenue they share with their miners in their pool as a way to get more miners working for them. There are now even ways to propose transactions outside of the normal methods, directly to the Ethereum miners to be created in blocks bypassing the mempool altogether, in exchange for a direct bribe to the miners, of course. This can be used for people wishing to make large trades to avoid having their transactions traded against, but it will surely become vulnerable again as soon as the next layer of front running evolves. One reason why MEV is getting worse on Ethereum is that recent protocol changes in the London hard fork vastly reduced the fees paid to miners. But miners have the same electricity and infrastructure costs as before, so to stay profitable, miners have to take part in MEV. Though this happens a lot on Ethereum, it also happens on all other chains that have this process of letting miners pick transactions from a public mempool in any order they choose. What would be illegal in traditional finance setting is completely allowed and even encouraged by the tokenomics of chains like Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, and more. And in addition to front-running DeFi trades, these same processes can be used to jump ahead of another person who bid before you on a valuable NFT or other asset. The system is fundamentally flawed and unfixable. Fortunately, there's another chain that eliminates front-running and MEV altogether.
Telos is a third generation blockchain that is extremely fast, creating two new blocks every second. This leaves little time for bots to scan the mempool for valuable trades. More importantly, Telos doesn't have any gas fees on its native transactions and a fixed rate gas fee on Telos EVM transactions. This means that no one can jump ahead of another person's transaction by offering a higher gas fee. The Telos software naturally orders transactions first in, first out as it creates blocks. And most important of all, Telos is a governed blockchain with clear rules of what its validators, also called block producers, are allowed to do and what the penalties are for breaking those rules. On Telos, all block producers must process transactions on a first in, first out basis as they receive them and cannot reorder transactions for profit. Any block producer doing this could easily be caught and disqualified from serving on Telos as a block producer for up to a year. And they may also be liable for money lost by the person whose trade was disrupted. Together, these provide very strong protections from any front running on Telos. Telos is the only blockchain that protects users from losing funds to front running or MEV. So Telos users are able to keep more of their own trading revenue and get a fair shot at winning competitive NFT sales without miners stacking the deck against them with all the great reasons to use Telos. High speed, high capacity, fee-less transactions, the lowest energy usage, and eliminating front running. Isn't Telos the blockchain for you? Thank you.